Hello, welcome back to another video. I've just got back down the yard and it is time to do something with the donut again. Let's uh, see if we can lunge him without him showing us his usual antics. But yes, how are you all? What have you been up to? It's nice to speak to you all again in like real time because the last few vlogs I've done have been pre-filmed in advance because of course we had my mum's funeral and we had to empty her house so I filmed a few things in advance um just so we didn't miss any uploads hello baby hello are you gonna be a good boy today are you but yeah so now we're back to real time um a few things have changed down here changed i mean maintenance just general maintenance um he's now goes out with gambler of an uh of a morning and then is changed into the backfield of an afternoon just because there's loads of grass out there i want him to eat the grass but you do look so stupid you do look like a donut, don't you? You really do live up to your name. Yeah, I want him to eat the grass and put the weight on, but I don't want Gambler getting too fat, so I'm turning him out there every afternoon to eat some of the grass down um, and get him some goodness. But I don't want him out there all day, every day on his own, because of being a stallion, he will, uh, most stallions end up turn out on their own don't they because um they, they're usually really quite dominant towards geldings but whilst he will still go out with gambler and behave i want them to go out as long as possible together so we're just keeping him out with gambler in the morning so we keep that bond between them two because even if you split them up for even a week they could lose that bond and then fight with each other so we don't want that but yes um the stables are going to be repainted and sorted out over the next coming weeks. So some repairs have been done in Willow Stable. Um, just general trying to get these fields ready because all the fields are trashed. So trying to get them ready for spring. But yes, shall we get you out? Shall we get you out and have a play with you? Hey. Come on then. So yeah, Donut has... Uh, lost a tooth this week so that just explains why I was being so mouthy and had to have everything in his mouth the last couple of weeks uh you're being impatient today but yeah we're just gonna brush him off quickly because molting season is here he's just absolute it's falling out of him so give him a good brush off although I think that's gonna be um a little bit pointless for what we can do afterwards but yeah <laughs> everything is still in his mouth but yeah let's quickly brush him off
now he's all groomed and cleaned, I'm actually going to turn him out for a little bit. Oh, um, painted the gates earlier. I wasn't sure whether they'd be dry, but they are. So, yes. If you have seen our previous video of trying to lunge donut, every time I lunge him, he goes down and rolls. I've never lunged him in the field yet, so I don't know whether he will do it out there. Uh, they're just too slippy at the moment and we never lunged him last year. So when I lunge him in the Barchip Arena, he always goes down to roll. So what someone did say to try is turn him out in here first, let him have his roll, let him get that out of his system and then tack him up and try and lunge him then, see if that makes him stop rolling because I do need to start getting tack on him, saddles on him to get used to all that before we break him in later on in the year and if he's rolling every time we lunge him I cannot put tack on him whilst he's doing that because he's just going to damage the saddles so yeah I'm going to turn him out in here for half an hour let him get his roll out of his system he's going to be absolutely filthy but it's that doesn't matter because as I say he's his youngster I'm not riding him I don't need him to be dry to lunge him at the moment because we're not putting anything other other than a bridle on him to lunge him so let's see if this works fingers crossed Straight head through the fence, looking at what the neighbours are doing in their garden. He's nuts, absolutely nuts. You wouldn't think he's been out all morning. I've only just pulled them in from the field. Right, he's going to go down. You can see him looking. There, here he goes, right next to the fence, of course. That's it, pick a different place. Thank you. He's got such lovely movement. He really, not putting no effort into that trot there, but he looks so good when he does move. He's fascinated. They're just, they've cut down loads of trees down there, so they're there picking them up. But he seems fascinated by what they're doing. Still hasn't had a roll yet though. I'm gonna sniff my flower pots, so I thought I'd be okay. No! I thought I'd be okay leaving the flower pots in there. By the gate, go back a little bit. That was a big rear. Spring has sprung. It's definitely. Oh. Now the warmer weather has come. They're all on their toes again. doing? <laughs> They're 
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him out there for half an hour. But he's down there, he's had his mad five minutes, but he's down there now just eating whatever has fallen off the trees, all the leaves and everything. But he still hasn't had a roll. I was really hoping that he would have gone out there and rolled by now, but because usually it's as soon as I take him out there on the lunge, he's down on his knees. But yeah. I'm going to leave him out there for half an hour whilst I get some other bits done and then I will go catch him, put his bridle on and attempt to lunge him. What on earth are you doing? Can you find anything to play with? Still hasn't rolled yet though. You're gorgeous boy. Here he goes. Finally. I mean, I don't want him to roll in school, but oh. I want to try and get him to get the roll out of his system before we lunge him, so. So he's been out in the field for a while now, in the arena. Um, he's only had one half-hearted roll, but um, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to lunge him now. I'm just put you in here because the tree people are making lots of noise in the garden. Um, but yeah, we're going to, I'm going to set you up on the pivo in the corner of the school to film that way, um, because it's just so hard. He's not, it's so hard to film from me and, uh, control him because I want both hands holding him and pushing him forward. He's, he's only been lunged four or five times so we're not looking for perfection all I actually want from him is him to stay out go forward when I ask him to go forward and to not roll in the school that is all the aims for today he can do what he likes other than that basically because um, I don't like young lunging youngsters in a tight area. I prefer to lunge them out in the field where we can get a bigger circle, move more. Don't like doing it here but I need him to start learning the basics before we take him out in the field. But yeah, I'm going to grab his bridle now and then I'll put you on the pivo and we'll see what he does.
So I'm hoping I actually got some video of him going around because Pivo decided he didn't want to work today. Um, so yeah, I'm sure we got something because I just had to prop you up on the side. But um, so much easier doing it that way with two hands on him because usually I've got a camera a lunge whip and the lunge rope trying to control him it just wasn't working so that was a lot better filming it that way he still tried to go down um but i could then get the lunge whip behind him and push him forward so hopefully fingers crossed a few more times like that i'm hoping we will actually get him out of rolling whilst being lunged because that's certainly something I don't want to have to deal with when he's broken to ride going down and rolling um so yeah I've never had a horse that does this before so um out of all the horses I've had 20 odd years of horses I've never had one that tries to roll when you're lunging so um learning how he is of course he is uh, very special isn't he he lives up to his name of donut which i never gave him the breeder his the breeder's grandchildren named him donut you know days after he was born so certainly lives up to that name but um yeah we just persist with that and carry on and just hopefully he will get better with it but that's the end of this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye.